Hello and welcome to my 2015 wardrobe video. I know this is a really long video so I'll just say that if you want photos I'll link my blog post in the description down below and I'm sorry if some things are blurry because my camera doesn't have autofocus. But what you will find in this video are my bags, my shirts, blouses and jackets, dresses, skirts. These are the ones that I've bought and these are the ones that I made. I made this dress as well. Some accessories and wigs and jewelry, socks and tights, hats, hair accessories and shoes. Starting with brand pieces, this is Metamorphose and I really love the print and the color and all the golden little details. This is Juliette et Justine. I can't pronounce the name of the print but I love it. Although I will take the shoulder ruffles out. Alice and the Pirates I love the green color and the print. It had a big bow sewn onto the stomach, but I took it off with a seam ripper and now it fits my style a lot better. Fan Plus Print OP. I really love the long sleeves and the long hem. And it fits surprisingly well. And I love all those details in black. Fan plus friend, this is actually a quite hard to cord because the red is a bit musty red, it's not bright red, it's not burgundy, so it's hard to find matching reds, but I still really love this one. Bodyline antique clock. I like the print and I like the color, but it's a bit too short on me and the top is unflattering. So I don't use it that much, but I still like it. This is also bodyline. It's a bit high-waisted and short on me, but I'm planning on making a matching underskirt because I really love this print. On to the Taba brands. This is from CEL and the white color and waist tie are detachable but I bought it because of the print. The lace is also very lovely. This is my newest dress and I really love this one. This is Surface Pell, my black and blue underbust love. That embroidery and lace and tool is gorgeous. The blue bow is detachable and I wear this way too often. <laughs> Altered in Fanta, so the top looks a bit weird, but I really love the print and lace on this one. This is handmade by somebody else. I got it for 17 euros and immediately realized that I hate short sleeve OPs, so I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Next two dresses are handmade by me. I have a tutorial for this one. I really love the tartan fabric. This is a good transition piece between dresses and skirts because I don't know whether to count this as a high-waisted skirt with suspenders or an underbust JSK, but I really love this print. This is absolutely one of my favorites. A velvet skirt from Surface Spell called Judgment Day with Gorgeous embroidery. Restyle skirt. This is one of my absolute favorites because of the poofiness and that print. This one is from Fan Plus Friend and I really loved the print. Fan Plus Friend skirt that was for a limited time only. A super high waisted skirt from Taobao. This one is from Bodyline and I love 
all the little details. This one is from Lady Sloth. The tag on this one says pentagram and again I love the fabric. And then on to the handmade stuff. This is one of my favorites although I couldn't quite zip it up on the mannequin but I love the blue fabric with the black velvet print. A simple black and gold skirt that I have a tutorial for. A lined skirt that I have a tutorial for. I want more classic pieces but because I didn't want to stray too much from my comfort zone, I made a floral skirt with gothic colors. A simple black and white skirt. This is the second skirt I ever made and even though I haven't worn it over a year, I still keep it for nostalgia reasons. A striped skirt that needs ironing. I love grey in Lolita and this also needs to be ironed. This is a super long one, it comes to my mid calf and I made it with, with a lace curtain over purple fabric. I haven't worn this skirt once because while I was making it I realized it was a bit too orange for me instead of red. So now I'm thinking about dyeing it. Starting with Taobao and Bodyline. This is from Surface Spell and it is my absolute favorite blouse. I love the color and the cut. This is Bodyline. The sleeves are way too short and I don't like the Peter Pan color, so I never wear it. But I often steal the Chabot to wear with other shirts. This one is Fanplus Friend. It comes with a necktie, but I never wear it because I suck at making bows. Now for shorter sleeves, this is from Infanta. A purple shirt from Classical Puppets. I don't know how the color picks up, but it is indeed bright purple. I think this is Dear Celine, but the tag is in Chinese, so I can't read it. But I really love the blouse, perfect for summer. Same brand, possibly Dear Celine, and this is a nice deep burgundy red instead of the orangey red that my camera wants me to believe it is. Second hand body line, though I never wear this because even though it's black, it's way too sweet for me. And then on to off brand and vintage. Again, let's start with the long sleeve ones, and this is the shirt that I probably use the most. Same shirt in white. These are from eBay. Off brand, I like the sleeve details. Off brand, I love the sleeves. Good for summer. I got this second hand and it doesn't have tags, but I love the crosses. Perfect gothic blouse. Simple off-brand off-white blouse. This isn't officially Lolita, but I like wearing this with casual Lolita outfits. A vintage blouse that is actually deep burgundy instead of the orangey red. And I'm gonna modify the color. Off brand, I love the ruffles and the gray pinstripe. Vintage, another one of my favorites. This one is deep purple instead of blue. And even though it has short sleeves, it's still really comfortable and soft. I modified the color. This is off-brand and a gorgeous deep blue color. This cutso is for the brutal summer heat. The button-up front is from lace and it breathes and is so comfy. And again a bit more casual for the summer heat, this time in blue. And then some vests. 
This underbust vest is from GLP. Brown off brand vest. Black military style vest. A shawl thingy from Famplus Friend. Off brand cardigan. I really like the pearl color. I love long sleeved blouses, so I usually don't need these. But I made this for the Bodyline Antique Club dress because the top is so unflattering. I always wear it with this one. I don't know if this is a shirt or a jacket, but it's a half sleeve and I'm gonna change the buttons. Short brown jacket, good for steam Lolita. I really love the full sleeves. A beige jacket that's from the same series as the brown vest. Red Queen's Black Legion. I really love this jacket. And lastly, my DIY winter coat. These are the shoes that I usually wear with the Lida, but let's break them down into smaller groups. And let's start with the two of my oldest ones. These are from Antaina, these are Demonia. And these are the same story with the black blouse. They are black Lolita shoes that were way too sweet for me because they have hard cutouts and movable bows and stuff like that. So I didn't get much use out of these. These I did wear because I started out with punk Lolita. Although I haven't worn them in a really long time, especially not with Lolita, just normal punk nowadays. But these got a lot of use and these ones didn't and these were my two first Lolita pairs. Next are my bodyline shoes. I have a video separate for these three but I have a pair of rocking horses. Red and black shoes that I really love and have used a lot. And white shoes. So these were bodyline. These are all off brand and kind of boring because I started out as a really tomboyish girl, so I didn't own any heels. So I kind of got these ones because I really needed a white pair of heels or a red peel pair of heels. So these were my first ones that I sometimes still wear if I want to tone an outfit down. And I have a lot of these kind of flat shoes in different colors, but because it's summer, I've packed them away with my summer things. And I got these more for Cadona. These are green and black. I don't know if you can see that. Three and a half euros I paid for these ones, but really like these. And it's good to have flats if we're going on a meetup that we know we have to walk a lot. Because I can walk a bit in heels and be comfortable, but if there's a lot of walking to do, I want flats. These are a bit more special heels. I got the blue ones because I started loving black and blue. These are have a size too big, so they have a lining in them, but I really love the bow. And the color on these is a really rich purplish burgundy and they these are surprisingly comfortable to walk with and I got these for my handmade tartan dress so I would have matching shoes these are my ankle boots because I love this kind of shoe and I want more of these. I have a link for these in a haul video. My sister told me that these were a knockoff of some brand but I really like the color combination and this style so I'm still wearing them. And I also love these. This heel is perfect. The width and the height and I love 
the studded details. So these were my ankle boots. As for winter boots, all of these were a bit more pricey than what I usually pay for shoes. These are an off-brand rocking horse shoes that are really warm and I have a lot of different colors for the lace like red, black, white, silver, blue for whatever I feel like doing. These are Dream V and also have padding so they're good for winter. Really cute. And these I have walked until they're broken. <laughs> But I really love this kind of shoe and I want these kind of shoes again, but I haven't found them yet. So these were my winter boots. Here are the bags that I use with Lolita. I have a black bag with a golden clock, an ivory or beige bag, a coffin bag with a purple cross on it, another clock bag from Jawbreaker, a red floral, floral bag, this is deep red, not as orange as it seems to be, a basic black bag that I love and I want the same one in brown. This I made for steampunk but I wear it with Steam Lolita as well. And it's made from an old camera holster. This is from Flea Market. I love the rich blue color, but it's kind of sweet, so I haven't worn it that many times, but I still love it. Brown and black bag, Alice in Wonderland. And my most used bag with the Iron Gate. Not by Moitié, but by Restyle. Those were the bags I wear. These are my wigs. And let's start with the oldest one. This I got for a costume and it was hip length. But being hip length it actually got really knitted and knotty from the bottom. But I really liked the quality of the hair so I just cut it off. And you have seen it in my where to buy blouses video. And this one I got from eBay. And I'm lucky that I got a $10 wig that was long and curly. Because I realized that I do not like long and curly wigs. It's, it frays easily and it shows the cap through a bit because it is quite thin. But it it's okay if I wear a beret, so you can't see that. But this is a wig that I wouldn't recommend, but I'm glad I bought it. Now I know not to buy long curly wigs. This is the one I use the most. It is chocolate brown and it's so dark that in some pictures it looks like it's black. It's from Taobao and really good quality and thick. I love it. And my newest one is from eBay, slightly reddish chestnutty color and I love the curls. And this is also a very thick wig and I really like it. I'll buy more wigs from the same seller. And I plan on getting more wigs, but again I'll start with the cheap ones so I know what I'm looking for. And then buy more expensive ones. But these are my current ones. I usually keep my head accessories in my hats. That makes them easy to manage. So I have roses and other flowers. I have my berets, mini hats, headbands and little bows. And then miscellaneous, like a cat. And I'm going to open this up and show what's inside. 
I apologize for the glare, but most of these are black, so I need all the lights I can get. Here's just a brown hat, vintage. This blue hat is also vintage. All the flowers are removable. This black hat with the flowers is from eBay. And a back black beret that I usually wear this clip with. A brown beret and a beret that I got from Fanplus Friend. These were my hats, mini hats. I don't remember where I got the blue and purple ones from, but this is CC Works and I love the detailing. And these two are handmade from a black empty hat. I made one with roses and I have a skirt from this fabric so I made a matching hat. Here are my flowers and bows. This gorgeous thing is from CC Works. Surface Spell, Bodyline, Taobao, I don't remember where. This I did myself and I have a tutorial for it. And the bows I just mostly got from different places. Here are headbands and random accessories. I have wrist cuffs, lace glove, my friend made this head accessory for me. My favorite headband. A feather hair accessory. A kitty. Silver and blue. This I used with Punk Lolita. I have mostly retired it now. A simple pearl headband. And a headband with a cameo. I keep all of my jewelry in these boxes that are actually meant for nuts and bolts. But they're really handy for keeping jewelry separate because I don't want to go through balls of necklaces to get what I want. Here I keep the big ones that don't really have space to be anywhere else like big chokers. I have cameos, steampunk, octopus, a mirror, massive gothic, I don't know if that's a wolf or a bear, and skull cameo, bird cage, Death Note, Evening Star, I'm a nerd. This is mostly my punk and rock and so on, so we'll skip that one. I have pearls in different colors. This is pink. I haven't worn it once, but it was so cute that I had to get it. I have a bunny and just basic jewelry. A rose, a bat, and cameos, and small stuff. I really like this blue one. And I have rings, <laughs> uh, a lot of steel rings from my punk days, and this that takes the whole finger. But I have cameo rings, kibono kakera, another nerdy thing, and just all kinds of rings that would fit into Lolita. I love this red one. My bracelets that are small enough to fit in here. I have blue and crosses and handcuffs, so pack stuff. These are my cross earrings. I have plenty. Cross is one of my favorite motifs. 
more random cameos blue gold wings stuff like that and a bit more bit bit more nerdy stuff and just dice and stuff like that so this was my jewelry that fit in here here are some other accessories a fur collar waist belts this is just a lazy one wristbands some hair clips and big bows that i never wear but still have them this is how i keep my pattern knee socks and tights and i'm gonna show you what they look like these are my socks most are over the knee but i have a few ankle socks as well these are my patterned ones and one pair of black ones these are my patterned tights the beige ones are wool and really warm for winter i also have a bunch of black ones with different prints like stripes and roses but because you can't see them on the camera i won't bother showing them that was it i hope you liked it it took <laughs> over a month to film and check out my other videos and i will see you again next wednesday bye